the Electronic Trade Documents Bill is probably one of the most important bills that no one's ever heard of. It's a very straightforward bill in many ways, but its potential is as good as infinite. So in simple terms, what it does is just enable trade documents to be accepted in electronic form. Now, I imagine lots of people tuning into this are thinking, well, surely that's been the case for decades. We're all aware of uh, smart contracts and the development of those in recent years. But the issue with trade documents is because they're possessive in nature, so take a bill of lading, for example, it's possessive in nature. So in simple terms, you hold the paper, you hold the goods. Up until relatively recently, it wouldn't have been possible to come up with a solution, particularly an electronic solution, to that problem. Because imagine if you'd done it, say, let, let's talk very oldie world if people, mm -hmm. say if you'd said, we'll do it on a PDF, and you flip it over, but you go, but how many people have got this PDF? How could you possibly know that I'm the only person holding this PDF and thus able to possess the goods? You can't. The beauty of this bill, though it's called Electronic Trade Documents Bill, yes, it's to do with trade documents, Yes, it's to do with the electronic basis of them. But in reality, from our point of view, it's a fabulous example of a technology bill. And the current technology, obviously, blockchain enables this possibility to have immutability, to possess that electronic trade document and be able to assert that through possession of that electronic trade document, you possess those goods, whatever they may be, on a boat, on a plane, Wherever they are, you hold the document, you hold the goods. So it's a, it's a super example of bringing together the technology which we now have, the beauty of common law, and doing it through the UK Parliament. So that's the mission. It's an incredibly straightforward bill, but its potential is extraordinary.